Hey, this is Ellie. Welcome to my Photoshop. An adjustment layer is a layer in Photoshop that lets you make an adjustment without actually touching the image underneath, and it uses a mask to hide or show that adjustment. So let's take my image here, which is mostly raw. I've done some retouching, but no real heavy color stuff. And I want to give it some highlights. And you can see, if you look right here, it's normal SL highlight shading. And that's what it looks like after. A lot of people do this a lot more uh, hardcore than I do, um, bolder. And there's probably a dozen different ways to do it, so I don't know how they do it. But maybe this technique will help you uh, figure out your own way. I'm going to turn that off to show you how. An adjustment layer is down here on the Photoshop palette. You take the little black and white circle. I like to use curves, but you might be more comfortable with levels or something else in this menu. Curves, and I bring the curve way up. And what that does is really lighten the image a lot, but it does it on a separate layer, so it doesn't actually affect the picture itself. It just makes that adjustment. But I don't want to see that adjustment everywhere. So I'm going to take this white thumbnail here. That's my mask. White shows everything. I'm going to image adjustments, invert that, so it's black. That means that my adjustment is not being applied anywhere. I'm going to zoom in to this area where I want to make that adjustment. Um, and I'm going to, you can use whatever selection tool you want. I'm going to use, let's try the quick selection tool here. Ah, that's good. And you can see how I've quickly selected that shape. What I want to do is I want to paint white on this black mask. So I can take a brush, and this is just a plain, round, soft brush. And this is too opaque. I want to turn it down to maybe 25, something around there. And with a soft edge, I'm going to paint here. Now you can see it coming in just a little bit. I'm going to bring the opacity up just so you can see it more. It's painting in that area. But if I turn off this adjustment layer, that's gone. It's on this layer. It's this mask that is revealing the effect underneath. I'm going to deselect, and you can see it's a little bit sloppy, but it's because I'm doing it quickly. At least that's what I'm going to tell you. Um, now we've got that with and without the highlight. This mask, if I hold down the Alt key and click it, it's going to show me what my mask looks like. That's what I've painted to reveal this layer um, of adjustment. If I went in here with no selection and 100 opacity and painted, it would reveal that light. If I change that to black and I paint it in, it will erase that effect. And what it's doing, I'm going to Alt-click here again, is painting on this mask. I can paint in white on the mask, and when I go back to that layer, you can see it's lightened it. So we use a combination of adjustment layers with a mask and making a good selection in order to get that highlight effect. I'm going to just um, fill that with black again and show you again how I can take a selection tool, select the edge that I want to highlight, take the brush with white, you're going to play with this opacity to get the effect that you want. And on the edge, you can either go with a thick highlight, or I'm going to undo that and bring this up and go with something smaller. And you can get a more intense edge. I'm going to deselect, zoom back a little to let you see that. And that's the effect. Hope that helped.